Hey everyone. Um, so today I um, am recreating the Rihanna Who's That Chick look. Um, I Mine's, my version of this look is not completely like her look. It's a little bit different, but um, I really like it. I think it's a little bit more wearable. Uh, I would totally wear this makeup out in public. I, I love it. So um, if you want to know how to get this look, um, please keep watching. Thank you guys. Bye. So I already primed my eyes with um, Urban Decay Primer Potion. I can't find it right now. Urban Decay Primer Potion. And uh, I took NYX uh, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk and applied it over top to get a nice creamy um, pastel base. So for the colors that I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be using my 120 palette. I just put some stickers on it because I wrote my name on it and uh, didn't feel like sharing that with everybody. So um, I'm using some of the yellows in this row. Uh, the yellow that I'll be using is, they're right there, these two. Um, this one, which is more like a chrome yellow, and this one, which is a matte, and I'll be sort of blending them. And so that's the yellow, and for the green, I'll be using this green right here, and I'll be mixing it with this green at the top here. Um, then for the brown in the crease, um, <clears throat> I'll be using the second um, tray, like the tray underneath. I'll be using this sort of dark brown right there, and I'll be mixing it with the black right up there in the palette. So pretty much this whole look is the 120 palette. Um, the highlight color that I'm using is the mix between of these two colors and it might not be showing up on camera but they're sort of like a gold, this one's more of like a gold color, this is sort of like a champagne sort of color. So I'll be using that as the highlight. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to take a MAC, I think it's a 239, I, the numbers have rubbed off. I'm going to take a MAC 239 and I'm going to apply the chrome yellow, or no, the matte yellow on my lid all over and up to the crease but not over the crease and you can get this right into the inner corner like right there so I'm just gonna lay down the matte color first like that and then I'm gonna take some of the chrome yellow and this kind of go over top to make it more vibrant and I'm going to take a pencil brush, and this is the 219 by MAC, the chrome yellow on the tip. And I'm going to bring that right in here, right there like that. And I'm going to drag it along right under here like so, till about the middle. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to take um, that brown, the dark brown, um, and I'm not going to apply the black to it just yet, so I'm going to take the dark brown on my pencil brush and I'm just going to start working it into my crease and start sort of creating sort of like a line. I mean, I'm not doing it as cut as she has it in the video, but I want it to look a little bit more wearable and a little bit more blended. So I'm going to be taking that and I'm just going to hold my brush to the side and just kind of create that line there, mapping it out before I go in and make it more dark. Right down in there like so. I'm just going to blend it up now. The same brush. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to mix that same dark brown with a little bit of the black and I'm going to go into my crease a little bit right here just to pronounce that line a bit more. And now I'm going to take a Sigma SS222 and I'm going to blend this out like so little bit neater. Um, so I'm going to clean off my pencil brush and I'm going to go into those two green colors 
and I'm going to line the underneath of my waterline right there. And just go right under here. I am going a little bit lower than I usually would. Um, just because since I am going to be lining the waterline, I want this to show out. Um, so I'm dragging this a little bit lower. than I normally would. At this point, the eyeshadow part of the look is done, and um, I just need to take a big fluffy brush, and this is the SS222 again, and I'm gonna go in with that, mix those two champagne-y colors, and uh, the light gold and the champagne, and just make a nice highlight. Right under the brow, like so, and I'm bringing the highlight down into there. Making sure that everything is staying blended. Her highlight is quite noticeable in the video so that's why I use something quite shimmery. So now at this point I'm going to take my eyeliner and this is Hard Candy's Walk the Line and this one's called Asphalt I think. Mm, the name's not on it anymore but I believe it is Asphalt. Ooh. Yes it is. And um, I'm going to make a very thick line and wing it out at the end. Like that. So I'm just mapping out where my line is going to be. And then... I'm going right into the inner corner. And then I'm just going to connect it from the edge of my eye. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a black pencil liner. And the one that I just adore right now is, uh, and I've adored this for a long time, is the Coal Liner by Sephora. And this one's just in Keep Black. And I'm going to run this in my waterline. So I just lined my waterline and the last thing for me to do now is to put on my mascara so I am going to prep my lashes with max prep and prime lash and the mascara that I'm going to be using is uh, one by one volume by Maybelline so I'm going to do that and come back and show you guys how to do the rest of the face um, here's a quick look at the eye I don't know if it's blurry, but yeah. So, so the eyeliner is done, mascara is done, uh, the cheeks I will show you how to do. So the first thing that I highlighted with was this bronzer by um, Hard Candy, and this is just called Tiki. It's sort of like a champagne color. As you can see, it's broken, that's why I can't open it, but it's a very beautiful color. So I highlighted the crest of my cheeks with that, and for the blush, I first applied um, Pinky by um, Pinky by NYX. Sorry, I'm just looking for my mineral skin finish. Um, Pinky by NYX. It's a very pink bubblegummy sort of color, and I just applied this up here, like right at the back of my cheekbones, like going up into my hairline, because that's how Rihanna's blush looks like it's going. It's not very sculpted is going around her cheekbones and up into the hairline. So I started with pinky and I am um, the second blush that I used was uh, this one by Physicians Formula and I forget which one this one is but I think it's like rosy glow or something and it's the scented ones. It smells like violets. I think it smells just like sunflowers by Elizabeth Arden perfume. I love that smell. So I took this and I mixed all the colors together. Isn't that just such a pretty blush? So I mixed that, swirl the colors together, and then I did the same thing. I swirled it and up into the hairline. Right up. Bring it right up over the brow. So 
Hmm, it looks darker on this side. So I'm going to go maybe a little bit more heavy just to match it up. Okay, so the third thing that I applied to make it very glowy was um, Mineral Skin Finish. And this one's just in Petticoat. I adore this Mineralized Skin Finish. And I just swirled it on my brush and I applied it mostly to the tops of the cheeks. Right back here. trying to match how far I went with it. So for the lips, you know, the color of lipstick that I'm going to be using is uh, 511B and this is from Wet n Wild. It's very close to the color that she had in her video, very close, but she has a gloss on top of her so This color is very creamy. You don't really need a gloss. Uh, to me, her lipstick looked a little bit more creamy. Um, so I'm going to take this other color by Wet n Wild, and it's five or 525D, and it's more of like a purpley, creamy pink. I'm going to apply that to the middle and just kind of blot it. So I'm going to take my hair down. Now I don't have hair like Rihanna and I tried to curl it to get it sort of like how she had it in the Who's That Chick video but unfortunately I I don't have her kind of hair. My hair's not short so this is the best that I can do. But this completes the look, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like it. I really like it. Um, it doesn't go with anything that I'm wearing right now because I'm dressed very gothy right now, but I would so totally wear this makeup in public. I really, really like it. So thank you guys so much for watching.